for our final speaker before some concluding thank yous, I want to invite up Bonnie Nickerson, who is the, uh, the director of the Department of Planning and Development for the City of Providence. And it's with great enthusiasm that I do invite Bonnie up here. Bonnie takes on that enormous set of duties with the City of Providence and is terrifically effective. She's also a 195 commission commissioner a dedicated one, and we turn to her time and again for advice on design issues and issues in general. Uh, she's been a great partner. We're, we're grateful to Mayor Lorza and to Bonnie, and I invite Bonnie up to the podium. Thank you, Bonnie. Good morning, everyone. I'm so pleased to be here for this incredible milestone on behalf of Mayor Lorza. He is in Washington, D.C. this morning. He is leading a group of other mayors and national experts in an important discussion around urban education and economic mobility. So he is disappointed to be here, but it's for a good reason that he's not with us this morning. This groundbreaking is so timely with the work that he's been doing over the past year with the U.S. Conference of Mayors and the Brookings, Inst the Brookings Institution around urban innovation districts. We've had the opportunity to travel to cities around the country and study and experience the ecosystems that surrounds successful urban innovation districts. The mayor is committed to continuing to build that ecosystem here in Providence and to help fill gaps in that ecosystem. But we know that we have today affirmation of what we've all known to be true and what we've talked about this morning, that Providence does have that exact right mix of ingredients to foster innovation. Within a few minutes walk of where we are standing, we have a world-class design school, a world-class culinary and food science school, a world-class medical school, a new nursing education center, to name just a few of our anchor institutions. We also have a strong arts and design culture and incredible arts institutions and the density, scale, and sense of place that brings all of these elements together right here. And we are literally at the heart and the intersection of all of that energy and all of that talent. So we know that you made the right decision to be here and you definitely picked the right spot. Uh, the Wexford Innovation Center not only acknowledges all of those assets that we have, but furthers and advances each one of them and moves our city forward in a big way. More than two decades ago, the planning began to relocate the interstate highway that bisected downtown. The highway was dismantled, roads and sidewalks were built, parcels were, were laid out, waterfront parks and the pedestrian bridge were designed. All of that work was, was happening in preparation for this morning. All of that groundwork was laid to create an opportunity for economic growth and revitalization to literally pave the way to be here this morning. On behalf of the mayor, I really want to offer our congratulations to Governor Raimondo, her entire team at Commerce led by Stefan, the 195 Commission for just the incredible amount of work that has happened to make this possible. I'd also like to acknowledge my colleagues in the city um, for their work on this project. And finally, um, to Tim and Jim, on behalf of the mayor and our entire city, we're thrilled to welcome you to Providence and you have an enthusiastic partner in City Hall. Thank you.